All right, students, welcome back. Uh, we start by, we want to factorize this, and after we factorize it, we check our solution to make sure that it's correct, okay? I would like you to stop whatever you're doing and pay attention. I would like you to drop your pencils, you drop your pens, and just pay attention to what I'm doing, okay? After I finish that, you can write. So, the first thing we want to do is we have to find the terms, okay? So we say first term is k squared, second term is negative 8k, and then the third term is 15. That's the first thing you want to do. So you want to have first step. First step, multiply, multiply the first and third terms. Multiply the first and third terms. That's the first thing we want to do. So this is k squared times 15 gives you 15k squared. Right? Second step. I think the second step. Okay. Second step. Find two factors of this product, 15k squared. Find all the two factors of, find two factors of 15k squared. Let's just list them first, okay? And bring up a factor that will give you give you the second term the second term so let's list all the factors of 15k squared first okay and this is where you have to really be careful if you're finding factors of 15k squared let's list them we have k and 15k We don't know what it will, later we'll find out what it will give us. The same way you also have negative k and negative 15k. Then 2k, you can't have 2. 3, the next one is 3. You have 3k and 5k. Now for you to know this, you will have to know your uh, factors and multiples. Then you also have negative 3k and negative 15k. Then you have 4, you have 5, 5 and 3 is the same thing as 3 and 5. You have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this is kind of all you have is negative 5k. So let's combine these factors and see what it gives us. This gives us what? 16k. This gives us what? 8k. This gives us negative 16k. And this gives us negative 8k. So we want two factors of 15k squared. And we'll bring out the one that gives us the second term. Remember, the second term is negative 8k. OK, two factors of this, such that it will give us the second term. So all we need to do is we need the negative 8k. And these are the two factors here. Let's circle them. Right, this is a very important step in this. Then the third step, the third step you want to do is replace those two factors replace with the second term. I mean, re replace the second term with those two factors. Replace the second term, replace the second term with those two factors those two factors. So what I need to do here is, first of all, let me write, I'm going to show you how we do this. First of all, we write the thing, k squared minus 8k plus 15. And this is the second term right here. I'm going to place these two factors in place of the second term. And I'll write it as is. Don't bring out your own 
signs. Right as is, as is. So this is k squared minus 3k minus 5k as is. I didn't put my sign plus 15. Right? This is what it gives us. Then the next thing, the fourth step, is to factor by grouping. Fourth step, let's factor by grouping. Factor by grouping. So let's go ahead and factor by grouping. Grouping means you now have to group this in twos. Let's, you know, we factor out this and we can also factor out this. You see the way we just wrote it out, like that. This is one way. I'm going to teach you another way you can do that. Okay? Now, but if we factor this out, this will be what? K will come out and this will be K minus 3. And if we factor out this, what will come out at least? Negative. Now, there's something I want to teach you now. Whenever you have a leading negative, it's always better to factor out the negative. Always better to factor out the negative. If you kind of split this in two, right, you have this. Whenever you have this leading negative in the second one, it's better you factor it out, the negative. So you can say that negative 5, negative 5 will come out here. And of course, this will be k minus 3. This is one way of doing this. And let me kind of explain this because you might be asking why, why, why. Now, this means that this requires that you, uh, that you know factoring by grouping. It's very important. When you have this negative 5k plus 15, and you want to factor out negative 5, what it means is you're factoring out negative 5, right? So what it means is, if you want to find what will be remaining, you do negative 5k divided by negative 5, and then 15 divided by negative 5, since you're factoring out negative 5. So negative 5k divided by negative 5 gives you k. That's why you see k is out. Okay, and then 15 divided by negative 5 gives you negative 3. That one is negative 3. And that's the same thing you, did, you do here also. The same thing you do here, k squared minus 3k. And you want to factor out k, right? So you do k squared divided by k. And you also do negative 3k divided by k. It is as simple as that. As simple as that. So k squared divided by k is k. Negative 3k divided by k is negative 3 because k will cross out. Okay, that's how you have this. Now, when you see that this is equal to this, that is when you can dance, you know, because that means you're getting it right. So, when you do that, you can now have that. We have that this k squared minus 3k minus 5k plus 15 is the same thing as k into k minus 3 minus 5 into k minus 3. And then when you see that this is equal to this, you now factor by grouping. This is k minus 5, or you can bring out k minus 3 first, and then k minus 5. And this will be your answer. I will check it first. After checking it, I will show you another way you can do this. Yeah, but if you understand this way, that is very correct, okay? So, this is our solution to number one. Now, let's go ahead and check and see whether we will get it right, okay? And in checking, in checking, all you need to do is you can, you just multiply that. In checking, you want to expand this and see whether it will give you the original thing, yeah. So you can use fall, it doesn't matter, right? k times k, k times negative 5, use this k to multiply this and this k to multiply this. Negative 3 times k, negative 3 times negative 5. And this will be k squared, negative 5k, negative 3k, 
and then 15. And then once you do this, you join it as is. You write as is. So this is k squared minus 5k minus 3k. Don't add your own signs, please. Don't add two signs, no. Write as is. Plus 15. And this will now be k squared minus 8k plus 15. Giving us back to what we have here. Right? And then you know that you're right. That's the way you check it to make sure you get it back. Now, if you've understood it, okay, you can now rewind and then write. The, you know, you, you, you rewind the video and then write as I explained it again. And you try to do this, the rest of this as well. So, if you didn't understand the magic I did, not magic actually, but if you don't understand the other method, I will just show you another way you can do it uh, right away. If you have, if you had it like this, k squared minus 3k minus 5k plus 15. Now, the way I wrote it down in tools is, is the way I recommend. But some people will do it this way. They will just come over here and put this in twos. I don't really like this way, but it's okay. Yeah, and just have a sign that will separate it. They just put the parentheses in twos. And then they can factor out k minus 3, then minus 5, k minus 3. And this will now be k minus 5, k minus 3. Some people do it this way, and they still get it right. All right, students, thank you so much for listening, and you have a great day.